All right, I'm here with big, uh, big Patrick Ryder. Uh, hey, mate, day after the game last night. It was a great win. Uh, personally for you, how are you feeling this morning? Uh, a little bit flat, but, um, yeah, with the injury, but it was a, it's been an awesome year. And to get out there last night and um, play in my first winning final, even though it ended um, a bit sour um, on a personal note, but, yeah, to get, to get through the game and be able to contribute with, to the boys to be able to get the win and then... Um, yeah, just looking forward to seeing the boys go out and um, hopefully get another win this week and march on from there. That's great. You played a ripping game, mate, uh, personally, from watching uh, down one side. So uh, you had a scan this morning, we believe. So how's it feeling? Um, and then what's your plans going forward? A little bit sore. Um, yeah, but definitely done the hammy tendon. So I've got to head back to Victoria and um, book in for surgery and get that done and then get the rehab process um, underway. Uh, as we know, so it's obviously over. Um, how do you see the boys going this weekend against uh, the Tigers and then obviously moving forward? Yeah, we've been competitive all year with um, all the good good sides, all the top sides. So, um, you know, we've, we're going to have some role players come in um, from the non-playing squad that's been training the house down and um, playing well in, in the little scratch matches. So, um, you know, the belief there for the boys and... Um, yeah, look forward to watching them go to work. Are you going to miss me? Yeah, a little bit. Can I come as well? or <laughs> You're going to go and um, see the birth of your child, mate. Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so Big Jakey, um, first final together. Me and you, first, uh, first winning final. First out winning of, final, yeah. Uh, out of the field for you. Uh, mixed emotions. Um, Obviously, yeah, you were on the bench at the same time I was, so we weren't out there towards the end. Um, great, obviously, from an individual point of view to, to get a win. Um, I haven't been involved in one, and obviously you haven't too with the, the ones we had at Essendon. So, um, mate, I was just as emotional as what you were. Um, obviously, seeing one of my good mates go down, but um, also the fact that we've we've won a final. I know it's not the the cherry on top or anything, but it's a, a stepping stone to where we wanted to get to, and that's what we play footy for. So... Um, to absorb all that, I felt like um, it was just an appreciation of all the hard work we've done, um, everything the supporters uh, has obviously given us a bit of faith to um, to, to motivate us to, to perform. And um, obviously, I, I hope it was a good game to watch because it was a, a great game to play. It was tough, um, but yeah, with all our, all our supporters and uh, and board members and all that that were there as well, I just thought it was fantastic. And uh, to share the experience with one of my good mates in, in yourself, I thought it was uh, it was very good. So. Personally, on, on that note, it's, it's a good way to go out. And uh, last one, um, so tomorrow morning flying out, um, where are you heading? Yeah, I believe we're in the same car ride as you. So uh, how, how ironic this interview's uh, overlapped to uh, the same car trip. So, no, nah, it's, yeah, it's, I'm devastated to, um, to leave the guys. Um, but as you said before, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for, for other guys to step up and um, to be successful. You need more than... 22 players, so it um, doesn't matter if you've got your best 22 or your best 30 out there, as long as they're representing the club, um, confident they can try and win. Um, but yeah, got to go home and, and make the tough decision. So as we all know, we do everything for family. And um, I think the part of the emotions last night was knowing that it was my last game um, for this year anyway. So um, I'm obviously excited to get back home and, and meet the, the little man of um, number three coming along. So. Uh, but more importantly, to see Mel and uh, Nash and Laker. So it's, um, it's been an emotional time. I think we've spent 91 days. Um, you know, some guys have had their family up here. I had mine up here for a week, and that was one of the best weeks I've, I've had in a long time. And um, it's going to be emotional when I do see him tomorrow, but I'm bloody wrapped with, with what I've been able to do because not only everything's for the club, but um, for them as well. And um, to provide for them um, with all the love I can um, from so far away is, is all I can do. And... Um, and yeah, I suppose they've been they've been a great support um, and motivator as well along the way. So I'm, I'm sort of excited to get back home. Spoken like a true family man. Well done, brother. <laughs>